That's right, the annual honors concert took place just last week called the All-Star Game of Music for us sports-minded people featuring some of the most talented high school musicians in the region. This year, the OMEA turns 91 wow. years old. Happy birthday! Yeah, I hope I make it to 991. <laughs> Today, we begin the first of a two-part series on the Ohio Music Education Association. Mark Kuntz took a look at how the OMEA is not just impacting current musicians, but generationally. This is an organization that is truly giving back. What were you doing in 1924? In Ohio, an organization called the Ohio Music Education Association was being formed, designed to promote music education all across the state. And by 1970, right here in this region, students had an opportunity for things like this, the annual band, choir, and jazz band honors concert. And the opportunity has been a staple in the region ever since. Parents grow up watching their children's involvement. Children grow up to become teachers. Area teachers catch the vision and join the board to keep the music going and the opportunities available for the next generation. Well, I've always come to auditions and the rehearsals because my kids have been involved in it. And about six years ago, uh, we had a, a turn and a, a lady stepped down and Mr. Sloan asked me if I would be interested in helping with the choir. And I said, sure, because I love to be here. Um, I, I have a great time watching the other directors direct, so I, I get a lot of information from them. The mission of the OMEA is to advance music education by encouraging the study and making of music by all. This philosophy is living and breathing here in District 3. Uh, I became a music educator because I had an outstanding music educator and band director that made me want to become a music teacher. And I'm a proud member of the Ohio Music Education Association uh, in my ninth year of teaching. And I can proudly say that I am a product of District 3, having grown up in Wapakoneta and now teaching in New Bremen. Um, I was in this ensemble for three years and have a lot of pride in the ensemble and their performance. And I'm honored that my colleagues have elected me to serve as their president, finishing up my term here in July. Students selected for the annual OMEA Honors Concert are given opportunities to work under some of the best conductors and directors in the region. Local representatives understand the importance of this, thus making Honors Concert planning an ongoing and top priority. We hire our guest conductors, very high profile band and choir directors, about two years in advance because we want the top notch conductors and they book up pretty fast. So it starts two years in advance and then we take about a year off of that particular festival to run the next festival and, and on it goes. So we have already uh, hired directors for 2017 as we sit here in January of 2015. I would encourage anybody who is interested in singing whatsoever to come and do this. It is really a, truly an experience that you don't get at your home school and it's just great to be around these kind of people. It's great to meet all kinds of different directors. They have so much to teach you and you have so much to learn. It's just a great opportunity for our kids to come together and sing and play their instruments and, and do what we love, which is making music. Um, I can't think of anything better for kids to spend their time on, and that's what OMEA is all about, supporting our kids.